If you guys don't like and subscribe in the next five seconds, these big ass curachas will actually crawl up in your mouth. I wouldn't risk it if I were you guys. If you guys need your badges grinding, you're tired of playing my career, go hit up Go Plug on Instagram. They do badges and they also sell accounts. So if you guys are want to make some bucks, go sell your account. It's on Instagram. Link and everything will be in the description, guys. If you guys need cheap and reliable MT, hit up mtstats.com. Go to their website. Go to any account you guys want. Use my code DAN for 5% off. And literally is the best and most reliable MT source out there right now. Guys. Boots on back. I'm posting a fat minute. It's in the last that I posted things a couple days ago, but today I'm gonna show you guys, I guess, some leaks that came out about 2K21. I know you guys watched all of these little leaks, but again, this is kind of leaked out by a dev that came out, I think, maybe a couple days ago, or me, I think, yesterday. I just forgot to make a video about it, but now it's official. It's like 100%, 100% confirmed. Like this guy made a blog or make a little tweet or something like that on the little 2K website. He, no one released it, and then someone got the leak to it, and then now I'm gonna show you guys what basically went on. So I'm gonna show you guys what the things they did for the neighborhood what they did for the badges what they did with the point guards the dribble moves this and that so again we have everything we got for 2k21 again this is only for next not next gen but current gen now, the official release date of 2k21 for current gen is september 4th we know that again it's coming out for ps4 xbox one the switch the stadia and the pc and then for you know 2k21 demo it's 100 percent confirmed it's coming out on august 24th for everything except the stadia and the pc so again if you guys don't have have a ps4 xbox one or a switch you can't play a demo you just gotta wait for the game to come out september 4th now to move on the thing i want to move on now is the point guard change so if you guys don't really know they made a point guard change so last year i think the point guard change was or last year i think the height for the point guard was six seven only but now they made it to six eight so basically you guys can be a penny hard away some type of player that's like a big now it's pretty crazy we haven't gotten really a height change since 2k16 so if you guys didn't know on 2k16 they changed i think the small forward from i think maybe seven foot to be like six nine or six ten only and then they dropped it down to six nine again on 2k20 i'm not for sure on that but again they i know they changed something like that now to move on the thing i saw that was a big thing was more into the parks and the anti and stuff like that so the scale gap this is a big thing that you guys wanted i guess from out the whole year now if you guys don't really know they're gonna make the game sliders i guess a little bit different everything you guys play so again if you guys play only park it's gonna be an easier type of game feel because again they want it to feel like it's like a casual play but when you go to Antioch, it's going to be a lot different. And then if you go to Antioch, or not Antioch, if you guys go to Pro-Am, right, the Pro-Am 3 3 or probably 5 or whatever, it's going to be a lot different from the Park or the Antioch, like, I guess, slider-wise. So, again, it's going to be a lot harder to shoot. Um, I guess I'm assuming um, the defense is going to be a lot harder as well there. Um, you're really going to make a lot of your shots because, again, it's mostly going to be in Hall of Fame or maybe Pro or maybe All-Star difficulty. I don't really know. But, again, they changed the difficulty and they changed the slider a little bit on that i don't really care about that i didn't really care about you know park or anti up you know you make more shots than this you make more shots on pro-am i didn't really care about that i'm not really i just want to play the game to have fun i just want to dribble i just want to get the board i don't really do those like dumb animations so that's really all i care about i don't really care about the skill gaps i know people really care about that you know we're making like 100 or 80 percent contested a uh, green light or in their face and they still make the shot i don't really care about that i just care about the animations and stuff like that now to move on with the shooting and the dribbling this is the thing that i saw right here which is actually a little bit uh, kind of weird now they're changing it back to 2k17 type of feel to it but if you guys know in the general moves it says hold l i guess right stick basically left or right for escape drone move now again basically what that means is i think this year like if you guys remembered how you guys do like a little kobe uh, escape size up bullshit was basically you hold r2 and you flick down on the left stick or the right stick i mean whatever and then it does a little kobe size up now again in this one right here it's more of just basically basically just left stick right stick and it's more of like i guess i'm assuming it's gonna be like maybe a 2k17 2k16 2k18 kind of dribbling type of style i don't really know to be honest until i get the game i don't really know i'm just assuming right now but again it's really kind of hard they're saying you can get a lot more ankle breakers now this one right here this dribbling kind of article was saying that you get more responsive more chainable basically let's say if you guys do like you know uh, momentum behind the back and this and that you guys will really lose standard like i was in 2k16 2k17 2k18 now, if you guys remember those games when you guys did a size up or you guys did like a hezzy or you guys did a you know a step back or whatever you guys did you would kind of barely move or i guess barely like lose any stamina in that game because how i guess balance it was
was. I don't really know, but again, they're bringing that kind of back. I like that. I really don't want like losing Stan a lot just for doing like some hezzy or some doing something. Now to move on with the shooting right here, they're bringing back that 2K17 shot meter stick. Now I didn't really use that. Now I'm not gonna say it's bad or anything, but I didn't really use it because I didn't really use the right stick to shoot ever in my life. That's mostly for the shot creators or people that like using the little stick. But I never use a stick. I mostly only use the square button because, again, square button, I think I got used to it throughout the whole years of 2K. I think I only used a stick me once for 2K17. Um, I used it. I didn't like it. And then I just stick with square. Again, that's what everybody might do. I might just use square and just use no shot meter again like how I did last year. The shooting part is kind of going into more detail. I was explaining you guys with the little sliders in the park and the ante. It's going to be a lot more, I guess, a lot more difficult to shoot in the ante compared to, like, the park because again park is kind of more of a casual or compared to private pro-am basically or pro-am 3v3 or, or 5v5 or the rec i guess so again every i guess everything has a different setting or a different i guess slider and difficulties so you guys can remember that when you're shooting on the anti up or in the stage or whatever now man way made a lot of tweets today if you guys didn't read them i don't really know but there's a lot of tweets that went out actually about mike wang you know complaining or like i guess saying some stuff like you know basically if you guys didn't know there's like four 40 new size ups, which we already know to be honest. So that one we already know. I don't really care about that. But if you guys didn't know, um, jump shot creator, right? So for shooting again right here, jump shot creator, you guys don't have to do a little um, bullshit thing with like Chris Berkeley, whatever. You just get it off rip, which I like finally to bring it back that 2K17, 2K18, 2K19 vibe, which you guys don't really have to work for. But again, I think in 2K19, you just have to like upgrade your player to just get that. And also the quick badge or the quick draw badge, whatever. It's actually gone from the game. So basically, it's just like 2K19, 2K18, and 2K17. You guys just um, change the style or change the speed of the jump shot in the jump shot creator. Suiting is so big. Again, there's 40 new park jump shot landings, which I don't really care about. You guys can, can add that. I don't really care about that, to be honest. But if you guys didn't know, Mike Wing actually made a tweet about the little layup thing. So if you guys don't really know, the layups are going to be apparently a lot more easier with the stick compared to the square. That's what he was saying. But again, I already know I'm going to miss wide open layups no matter what the situation is and if you guys didn't know for the last shooting update or news they're actually making if you guys didn't know they're actually making people that really can't shoot that well so again everybody that was shooting 50 percent like shooting ratings basically if you had like a glass cleaner or a, maybe a pure lockdown and had like a 50 uh, i guess shooting and you guys had three badges or four badges and you guys getting consistent greens in the corner top of the key out the catch and shoot and stuff like that that's more kindly gone and if you guys didn't know mike wing actually made an update or a little tweet saying that if you were actually able to shoot i guess with 50 ratings or 60 or you know 40 or 30 or 20 and really consistent he's gonna make a hot fix and fix 100 percent so basically everybody that's making a 50 or 60 i guess rating that's gonna be fixed so if you guys don't know about that don't make that build anymore you guys really can't shoot with that build ever in your life ever again but you guys make it some lucky whites or lucky greens but it's not gonna be as consistent as it was like you know in this game only thing for badges guys if you guys didn't know they're taking everything from the hat from last year the put into 2k21 everything's the same but the only thing that they're changing up is actually just quick draw so the same way you guys level up your badge and stuff like that it's still the exact same way now again if you guys don't know about the parks and stuff like that nothing has really came out on how it looks and this and that the only thing we got is that little picture about the 2k sunset beach or the neighborhood type of version of it so again i hope you guys know this little news video but i'm out y'all peace